everyone and welcome back to my channel. Kim Kardashian West revealed another bizarre element from her 40th birthday held on a private island in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. The Keeping Up With The Kardashian star's husband, rapper Kanye West, gifted her a hologram of her late father, attorney Robert Kardashian, who died in 2003. The hologram even delivered a speech telling Kardashian how proud he is from heaven. The hologram even dances to Barry Mann's Who Put The Bomb? Kardashian shared two videos of the hologram, calling it the most thoughtful gift of a lifetime and a special surprise from heaven. She thought the computer-generated version of her late father was so lifelike and she repeatedly watched it with her family. I can't even describe what this meant to me and my sisters, my brother, my mom, and closest friends to experience together, Kardashian wrote. Thank you so much, Kanye, for this memory that will last a lifetime. In the hologram speech, Robert told Kardashian she is now 40 and all grown up and she looks beautiful, just like a little girl, notes page six. The hologram told her that he watches over his sisters, brother and their children every day. Later, Robert told Kardashian he was proud of the woman that you've become, Kimberly, and all that you've accomplished. But most impressive is your commitment to become a lawyer and carry on my legacy. It's a long and hard road, but it's worth it and I'm with you every step of the way. In the end, the hologram told Kardashian she is a proud Armenian and I am a proud Armenian father. It appears West wrote the script himself. At one point, the hologram praised Kardashian for marrying the most genius man in the world with the word most repeated six times. Keep doing what you're doing, Kimberly. You are a beautiful soul. Know that I am very proud of you and I am always with you. I have built a firewall around our family. I love you, the hologram said at the end. Don't forget to say your prayers. Kardashian turned 40 on October 21st. On Tuesday, she shared photos from a family gathering on a private island where her friends and family were gathered close together and the only person seen wearing a face covering was a cook in the background. The photos were criticised as tone deaf, especially in the middle of a pandemic still ravaging the country. One post was singled out for a meme in which she wrote, After two weeks of multiple health screens and asking everyone to quarantine, I surprised my closest inner circle with a trip to a private island where we could pretend things were normal just for a brief moment in time. Although the criticism was unavoidable, sister Chloe Kardashian told Ellen DeGeneres she did not really know the extent of the criticism her family received. But this year is a frustrating year. I get it, Chloe said. I think there are so many frustrations going on for everybody. But also it's her 40th. This is something that she wanted to do for us. It was such a nice thing. Thanks for listening. Please like, comment and subscribe.